Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to bring you guys along while I did a toy rotation for my current three and a half year old and almost one year old sons. So the area behind me is for my older son. Most of the stuff on this side is more open-ended stuff that stays for longer periods of time and the shelf behind me gets swapped out more regularly. So I'm going to show you everything I have on his shelf right now and then what I'm going to be switching it for as well as afterwards I'll show you the baby's play area and all of his toy rotation swaps too. Okay, so this is currently what's on his shelf right now. We keep it really mild in the summer since we're outside so much, so most of his toys are more open-ended type things. So right now he has some magnetic tiles, his rainbows, he's got this rubber band board where he builds shapes and like stretches these rubber bands out. This little puzzle game, these little magnetic puzzle pieces where he can build puzzles. Comes with a bunch of different cards too. So he really likes that. This drawing board and some trucks. So he actually plays with a lot of this stuff still, but I just wanted to switch it up and make it fresh again. As for the new additions this week, I'm going to be bringing out these pop beads, which he loves. They're little beads that fit together and they require a lot of like finger strength and dexterity so they're great for little hands. So all of them have like little connectors but they are kind of difficult to attach and put back together so they're really good for him to just to sit and work with and he loves making long necklaces and stuff or just change with those. I normally would put these like in an open basket but since we have a very mobile baby I'll just leave them in this tub and Rourke can open this on his own. That way it's got a lid for when the baby comes over and tries to eat some pieces when we're not looking. So I'll probably just put it on his shelf just like this. And the main component of his new shelf is his new Love Every box, which I am very excited about because Love Every just released their four-year-old play kits. So they used to just go up to age three and now they go up to age four, which is awesome because we had all of the old kits so we didn't have any more to get. This one is actually a little bit older than his age. It's called the Persister. But it has a lot of literacy and reading components, which he's really into right now. So I picked this one because I knew he would really like this one. I'm just gonna open everything up and then I'll show you how I'm going to put it on his shelf. First, I opened this little drawing board. There must be markers in there somewhere, but it has these little tracing cards, which look really fun, like wipeable tracing cards with different activities on them. The next thing is this marble run game, which I need to open and figure out. Let's see, there's all the little pieces in here. And it looks like it comes with different colored cards where you can build the pieces on to make like a little marble maze. Okay, fun. I found the little marker crayon thing for that board. And there's this, it's called a combing circle. It's like a re relaxation thing. Oh, this is cute. It comes with this little guide of how to like direct different breathing and calming exercises they can use with this calming circle. We have a sensory bottle that I might get out with this and make like a little calm down area. I think I'll do that. Here's a book. We love the Love Every Books more than anything. And the last thing is this alphabet box. So here's a little movable alphabet. This is so cute. I love all of the lowercase letters and I love how they have a line at the bottom so they can tell which direction to put them on. This is like the cutest movable alphabet that I've ever seen. That is so cute. Okay, I just paused the video to read the instructions because I wasn't expecting this to be like a little game, but now I'm obsessed. So it has the movable alphabet with two letters and then look at this tray, all of these miniature items. I think this is the cutest thing ever. 
The hardest part is going to be keeping these in here because my son is going to love all of these little things. Like this tiny little pan. How cute is this? <laughs> I've actually been trying to collect my own little box of miniature objects um, for like letter games and I've had a hard time finding like the right things for each letter. But this has things that are so perfect and cute. Here's a little bag. Oh my goodness. It comes with this game, which I was not expecting but my son will love. I love making things into a game instead of just like teaching him because that makes it more fun and he loves games. So it comes with these two sets of cards. One, they both have the same picture, but one has no words or letters on it and the other one does. So we could start here and then move to the no letters. It get a little bit more difficult. And then to play the game, it says you're supposed to roll the die to build your word. So if you get like a red, you get to pick a consonant, and if you get a blue, you pick a vowel. And there's a couple other components to like build your little words. But my son is going to love that. He's going to be so excited. We're just at the stage right now of building three letter words, so this is perfect and could not have been more perfect for his current level. I know this is saying a lot since my son hasn't even seen any of this, but I think this might be my favorite Love Every Kit ever. All of these things are so cool and perfect, and I think he's going to love everything. Okay, so this is how I'm going to present them to him. So this one I just chose the B card and spelled out B just to show him an example. And then I have the pen right there. This little marble game. I went ahead and built the first one for him just so he could see what it was when he first comes and understands what we're going for here, and then we can build the other ones. But here's the little marble down here. We put it in. And it pops back out. He's going to be obsessed with this. I love that you can like build different configurations. So cute. This letter game I'm just going to leave in the box again normally I'd probably present it differently but I'm just trying to make it easier for us with a baby that wants to dump out everything and it is very nicely organized in here so I'd actually normally would probably just leave it open with the top off because it's very nicely organized already but I'm just gonna keep the lid on with the baby his movable alphabet I'm going to be putting up here I kept his rainbows out too. And then his jar of pop beads and this little calm circle. I'm going to leave out this guide so I can look through it again with him and show him. Okay, and then here is a sensory bottle that we DIY'd a long time ago that I got out to leave next to his little circle. And then I think I'm going to put these magnetic tiles back too because he's still been playing with those a lot. Okay, so this is his new updated shelf. I'm so excited to see what he thinks specifically about this letter sound game. I think he's going to love that the most, but we will see. Okay, next up is our baby rotation. This is his current little baby play area. He loves his walker wagon the most right now, so I'll leave that out. He is due for a shelf upgrade soon, but for now we have this tiny little infant shelf and here are some of his things on it. Kind of random right now, these Grimm's stacking bowls, which I think I'll be leaving out. I had these little like suction cup rattles like stuck to the top of this he could hit. This Love Every Bowl slider thing, which will come out. He hasn't really been playing with that much. This Love Every Rattle, it's from the Love Every Baby Play Gym set, I think. So I just got out just, I got out just this piece because he loves music and instruments. I thought he'd just want to shake it. This is a DIY that I did with my first son when he was little where you can pull these strings from one side and then the other side goes in just for babies that want to pull things. Here is another DIY, this hand kite. And then a little baby ball. Over here is this Love Every Ball Drop, which I will leave out because he's been playing with this every single day, all the time still. So that will stay out. The Love Every Rattle will stay out and these stacking bowls. 
As for the new additions, I got out this Love Every car ramp. He has never seen this before. It's been on Rorik's shelf for a little while, like on and off, not recently, but not since the baby has been mobile and I've been able to see it himself. I was hoping it would fit on his little shelf, but it does not. So I might just put it on the top. I like putting things up high and give him an excuse to climb up to reach something because he loves reaching high for things right now. I'm bringing out this Love Every Baby Spinner. As you can see, a lot of our Love Every toys are still going strong. They're like the main component of my baby toy rotations. This is for a younger play kit than his age, but I just thought he would like to see it again since he hasn't seen it for a long time. And then the next two things are some more like kind of DIY things. This is a bottle drying rack with these little bugs that I put in here for him to pull out and practice his pincer grasp. My older son really liked this when he was a baby. So I thought our current baby would like to do that. And then I also just got done making him this little Velcro cube. So I just found this wooden cube at the craft store and these little wooden stars. And we already had these little Velcro circles. I think we got them on Amazon a long time ago for other crafts. And I just quickly made this in like 30 seconds because he loves pulling things off right now. So I think he will like this a lot. But that will be our current baby setup. All right, that is everything I have for this video. I hope you guys liked seeing our current toy rotation. I'm excited to see what the kids think. I will include some clips at the end of the video if you keep watching of them like finding their shelves and playing, so keep watching for that. But thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in our next video.